So let's talk about what it means, you know, what encapsulation means, right? And you know, it, it, to kind of help this conversation, I'm going to go and grab the Wikipedia definition of that term, um, and we'll look at it together. If I can type, here we go. Um, all right, let me pull that up. Yeah, so the idea behind encapsulation and, and, the, and the part that I really want to zoom in on, right? So, you know, the first part of it talks about bundling of data with methods that operate on that data. That's really a core object oriented design principle that we've already been using. We've been creating classes that contain both data and the methods that operate on it. But what, it, what we're really going to focus on today is the second part of this, the restricting of direct access to some of an object's components. And the idea of using encapsulation to hide the values of state um, so that other people can't see them. And it gives us very, very fine grained control over exactly the parts of our classes that other people are allowed to use. And, you know, this is one of those concepts in computer science that doesn't have a perfect analog to the real world. I mean, it took me a little while to come up with something, but I think a reasonable idea is, is thinking about um, if you go into a business, let's say you go into a restaurant, right? There's like a, a public part of the restaurant and there's a private part of the restaurant, right? The kitchen. So the customers don't go in the kitchen. Uh, the customers sit, you know, in back when we go, used to go to restaurants, right? The customers sit in, you know, the, the dining room of the restaurant and the restaurant has been set up to allow the public access to certain parts of it and then also to create a system for them to access the, the private parts as well. But that system is, is sort of very well structured, right? Like you don't order by walking back to the kitchen and being like, hey, you know, I want a hamburger. You're like... Somebody comes out, takes your order, takes it back to the kitchen. And so, you know, the restaurant has set up a very standard, um, you know, procedure for moving data back and forth between the public part of the restaurant and the private part of the restaurant. And that's not really that different from the way that um, objects work, right, in terms of encapsulation. So you set up a, a public, a, the public methods or the public parts of your class that you intend other people to use. You mark them as public, and we're going to show you how to do that in a minute using Java visibility modifiers. And then there's other stuff that you keep hidden that you keep private. And one of the things that allows you to do is to change things without affecting the public part of the object. So again, going back to our restaurant analogy, imagine that you know uh, a restaurant decides, okay, we're gonna fully redesign our kitchen, right? Let's say the restaurant serves hamburgers. So you go there, you get a hamburger, something happens in the back of the restaurant, you don't know exactly what. One weekend they may come in and like totally redesign the, the kitchen area, right? The private part of the restaurant. You come in the next day and order a hamburger and they bring you a hamburger again. And to you, it's like nothing has changed. But the people that work there know that the kitchen is like totally, maybe they like put in robot chefs or there's a new machine that makes hamburgers perfectly, you know, based on, you know, it's created by some programmer, right? Um, anyway, the point is that like for you, the restaurant's the same. You come in, the menu looks the same. You order the same thing you've always got there. It comes out, it's delicious. But to the people that work there, the private part of the restaurant has been totally redesigned. And we'll come back and talk about this more when we talk about another idea called interfaces in a couple weeks. But the idea here is that by keeping part of the restaurant private, you know, if you had to go back into the kitchen to order, you know, you might go back into the new kitchen and have no idea what to do because everything's different, right? But by keeping that part hidden from you, it also allows it to change. So as long as certain expectations are still met, the restaurant can change other parts of how it operates and the customers never know. So again, you come in on Monday and order a hamburger and you come in the next week on Monday and order a hamburger and the kitchen may be totally redesigned and everything is working totally different back there. But as long as you still get a, you know, a delicious hamburger served to you, um, you're all good, right? So this is kind of the best analogy I could come up with for the idea of encapsulation. So by keeping some things private on our classes, it allows us to change those things without the people that use the public parts noticing very much.